So it's literally been like three months since my last face of the day, which I didn't realize um, until just now, but it's like, that's crazy. Um, and I'm using a lot of the new products, um, especially since that last video. So I am just going to kind of give guys my first impression, so to speak. Um, I'm wearing a new blush, a new colors from an eyeshadow palette. Um, and I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my thoughts and just kind of just go over like my overall look for the day. So I've been into like a darker crease lately, like the last few days. Um, and then today I decided to go with like a golden eye um, and then keep the lips like more nude and natural. So for my base, I'm wearing my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Um, I really like this. This is one of my favorites actually for June. So. If you guys will let you know what I think about it, but in case you haven't seen it, I think it's really comparable to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which I love. It's my absolute favorite. Um, this has a different feel to it. It feels a little bit more like stiff or silicone-y, um, which I'm not really crazy about as far as like the staying power. Um, I say it lasts a really long time, really, really comparable to um, as long as the Smashbox one lasts so. I've got that. I have got, of course, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, I just use this under my eyes, not so much on my blemishes anymore. It's just really great for just evening out and brightening your whole under eye area. Blends amazingly. Absolutely loving that. Um, for foundation, I'm still using my CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup. This is in the shade Tawny. Um, D5, and I'm getting close to the bottom of the bottle, but um, I like this a lot. It has a really nice, like, full coverage. Um, it lasts a long time. I find that in the warmer weather, this works a lot better than my Revlon Nearly Naked, so <clears throat> there's that. Um, for powder, of course, I'm wearing another one of my June favorites products. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder with Rose Price Rice Protein <laughs> Complex. Um, it's just a really great translucent powder. Helps to keep your face matte throughout the day. Um, really great packaging as well. So yeah, liking that. Um, and then for my blush, I'm wearing the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which is kind of a cult favorite. Um, especially from the Milani line. It's a beautiful, really light, peachy, golden-y kind of coral color. Um, I'll swatch it for you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. It just, it, it's really, really nice. Um, this blends really, really nice and it gives your face a really nice light glow. Um, what I did today was mix this with another blush, which is the NARS blush and Madly, which is one of my all time favorites. It's just amazing for everyday looks. Um, it's really, really natural. It's like a tan kind of almost like a bronze color depending on your skin tone but I just mix the two together just to give myself a really nice natural glow but still give myself a bit like a hint of like a coral color um for my eyes I'm wearing my MAC paint pot and groundwork which is just a really nice natural brown color it's like a light color kind of like a flush tone almost um at least for me um, I'm not wearing a like long lasting primer um, today, so I'm just wearing the paint pot. And then for my eyeshadows, I am wearing, I'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys. Oh, just so you can see a little bit better. Um, I'm wearing some colors from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I haven't really talked about much. Um, uh, but I've been playing around with it a little bit more. It's because the reason I hadn't talked about it is because I really hadn't used it a whole lot. It just used like one color here and there. Um, but today I'm using a full eye look with this palette and I really like it. Um, the first color that I'm wearing on my lid is the color Creme Brulee, which is this golden color right here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm wearing that all over the lid. It's a nice, pretty, like, golden shimmery color um and then in my crease i'm wearing the color semi-sweet which is this kind of medium toned chocolate brown 
um, almost like a dark chocolate. It's really, really nice. Um, that's a matte color. And then as a highlight and also to blend out my crease, I'm wearing Salted Caramel, <clears throat> which has been one of my favorites in the palette lately. It's just a beautiful light brown. It's a matte color. It's really, really creamy and nice. Um, so, you know, that is my look for my mascara. I am wearing, as I zoom back out here, I'm wearing the Maybelline Falsies and Black Drama, which I love. You guys know I love this eye mascara, almost said eyeshadow. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, I will repurchase it over and over. I'm obsessed. And then, surprisingly, with that, I'm actually wearing this one. The Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. Um, this I really was not that crazy about, um, but I'm wearing it anyway. Um, I just kind of want to use it up. But um, here's what the wand looks like. It's kind of a fat wand. Um, it doesn't really work that well with my eyes because um, I have smaller eyes, so it's just a bit much. The wand is a little too fat, and it doesn't do like a whole lot for my lashes, but. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of use it up a little bit more um, before I toss it. And then on my bottom watches, I'm wearing my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, which um, I really, really like, as you guys know. Um, for my lips, I am wearing my Bite Beauty Lipstick in the color Pepper. This is just a really nice kind of brownish nude kind of color. Um, and then on top of that... I am wearing something I haven't worn in forever. It's my Urban Decay Lip Junkie in the color Naked. This came with a Naked 2 palette. Um, these two together just look really nice. I really like them. I've never paired them together before, but I'm liking it as far as first impressions go. This is just a really great gloss. It just has a really nice sheen to it. Um, it's nice and thick, so it gives your lashes, and lashes your lips a nice coat of um, moisture and shine, but it doesn't wear your lips down. It doesn't feel super heavy on your lips. Um, it also has kind of like a minty, kind of a peppermint kind of smell to it. Um, so yeah, I just really love this. I have used this a ton in the past, but I haven't talked about it in a while, so I decided to kind of break that out again. And that's basically it for my face of the day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you later.